peace, Stephen Flynn. Yeah, yeah. Miss... Mr Speaker, a horizon system introduced by Tony Blair, the former Labour Party leader and, of course, now a Knights Garter, a horizon system defended by the current leader of the Liberal Democrats, himself a Knight Bachelor, a horizon system scandal overseen by a former Conservative Prime Minister who now hides in the House of Lords as a Baron. The reality is that sub-postmasters never stood a chance against the Westminster establishment, yeah. did they? Um, yeah. 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 Well, Mr Speaker, as I've said, this is actually one of the greatest miscarriages of justice in our country's history. And all our thoughts are with those who worked so hard for their communities and have seen their lives and reputations destroyed. And, and since this scandal, as the Honourable Gentleman pointed out, has actually unfolded over decades, and with multiple people clearly at fault. But since 2019 in the High Court case, this government established a statutory inquiry led by Sir Wynne Williams to uncover what went wrong, established an independent advisory board, and has established three different compensation schemes, paying out £150 million to over 2,500 people, with now almost two-thirds having received final compensation, but we must go further and faster, Mr Speaker, which is why we have made new announcements today. M Mr Speaker, I don't think the Prime Minister quite gets it. This isn't just a plague on all their houses. This is a plague on this House itself, because injustice goes far beyond just the sub-postmasters. Just ask the waspy women, or the victims of the equitable life scandal, or the victims of the infected blood scandal, or the victims families from Grenfell or Hillsborough. The reality is that when the public come knocking on the doors of this here chamber seeking justice, the government only ever answers when they have no options left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the Leader of the Opposition said last week that the public are right to be angry at Westminster, and they are angry at Westminster. They are angry at Westminster because they know that this place never really changes. Does it, Prime Minister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Mr. Speaker. Uh, this is, uh, you know, and actually, I'm, I am sad that the honourable gentleman is trying to politicise something that has happened over multiple decades with multiple people at fault. But the key thing is, after the 2019 High Court case, the government did act to establish an independent inquiry, independent compensation schemes, and, as I said, has paid out compensation to 2,500 people. But rather than trying to politicise it, what we should be doing is focusing on the people affected and making sure that they get the answers, justice and compensation that they deserve, and that is what we are delivering. Yeah.